Okay, so here's how we can insert one SOLIDWORKS part into another part file. We begin with this simple part. You can see where the model origin is. That's built with respect to the front, top, and right planes. We want to insert this into a new part and then use that as the basis for further adding features or maybe borrowing geometry from this existing part. So we'll create our new part file. Pick the desired template. The first command we'll issue, insert part, and then we just have to browse for the file that we want to reference. In the property manager, we can see what type of items are we going to insert. The solid bodies, surface bodies, axes, planes. So we can choose as many or as few of these items as we like. If you notice, uh, before I click in the graphics area, if I move the mouse around and make a click anywhere, it'll drop that part at that arbitrary pick point. That's generally not what you want to do. If you're just simply interested in dropping this part so that it is aligned to the same origin as our new part, then don't do anything in the graphics area. Just click the check mark. That'll automatically align our newly inserted part into our blank part. Now we can use the locate part dialog to translate or rotate with XYZ coordinates. Or we can turn on a constraints panel that will then let us move the component and place it more like we would with an assembly with, with a coincident, concentric, and so forth uh, type of mates. If we're happy with this positioning though, just origin to origin alignment, just check the uh, red X. And now our newly inserted part has, uh, has now arrived at the model origin.